Yeah, that wasn't going as planned. Had to crack out the drills and the ease outs. That's because I was being a smarty pants and using the impact wrench on little bitty 10 millimeter bolts. And had to do a little drilling action. Get this water pump balled out. I put a new thermostat in it. Got a new serpentine belt. Fixing to swap the valve cover. Now this little pain right here. Whew, saved the day. Yeah, another thing I had to do is these what these the new water pumps. There's two of these that have a much wider boss on it. So I have to cut this much off two of the bolts. That was one of the bolts I cut off to snap. I was trying to drive it in all the way, but if I cut enough off, it'll bolt right in there. Because some of these holes, the threads don't start till it's way down in it. And other ones, the threads are right at the top. There's two of them with it right at the top. This one here. So those two have to be short bolts with the new water pump. Yeah, check this out. Time and chain, water pump, oil pump, all tensioners. It's like 75 bucks on eBay. And this one here, look at this chain's nice and tight. So, pop the valve cover back on off the other one. And then that other engine, I'm gonna pull it apart and look at the rod main bearings, check the cylinders, and that may, engine may be good with just a time and chain set. Uh, new oil pump and water pump comes with a kit, so for 75 bucks, really? Have another engine to mess with. Maybe buy another car <laughs> with a bad motor. More progress. And yeah, the kids yesterday had a birthday party, so bailed out on Saturday evening. Then today, after church, they went to the movies, and he's still not out here. And I've been out here like four and a half hours. And one thing that's been bugging me this entire time is this light keeps falling out. Every time I lean over, oh, this bad gum. You ordered some new ones. I don't know why I just don't get them out of there. <laughs> but anyway, back to work. Torque converter, or actually the ring gear bolting to the torque converter and then finish putting the starter and all the bell housing bolts in yeah buddy making progress well, the last hour and a half but all we lack now is the radiator air box overflow and battery and that is it Radiator, air box, overflow battery. It has oil. I uh, filled it up. Oh, yeah. This dead gum thing. Look at that. It just popped out. Come on. UPS or, yeah, Amazon. Let's go. Hurry up. Anyway, um, yeah, drop the fan in. Hook up the oil cooler lines. Run the two water lines for the radiator. And we can hit the key. Ready to test it out. Okay, maybe tomorrow we'll do that. See what happens. Look at that, AJ's going up, 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 up. Bye, bye, bye.